When you manipulate light and create ominous shadows along with your use of color, you can foreshadow a character's intent to be villainous. But I believe we can go much deeper and create memorable, long-lasting villains by giving them something all of the greatest villains have in common. Hey, I'm Francis Manipal, professional comic book writer and artist. And once again, I've joined forces with DC, home of the most nefarious supervillains and the greatest superheroes in the universe, along with Varsity Tutors, home of many studious instructors to bring you yet another live class about the art of creating comic books. Class is in session on July 27th, and it's free to join. Just sign up in the link down below. It's going to be criminally fun creating memorable supervillains with you. But if you and I are going to create the perfect supervillain for your superhero, we'll have to dig deep. So deep, you and I will need a microscope to really get under their skin. And at this level, we'll begin to see all of their molecules moving inside their bodies. All of these cells are in constant motion. But what would happen if the temperature drops below absolute zero? That's roughly minus 273 degrees Celsius, which is almost minus 460 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, that's really, really cold. At absolute zero, all molecular movements will stop. And it just so happens, one of the Flash's longest running enemies can do just that. Captain Cold. He's your everyday salt of the earth. Well, maybe not salt, that's, it's gonna be a bit of an issue for him. He's just a blue collar thief who has technology to freeze just about anything. For the Flash, whose molecules move at supersonic speeds, so much so that he can go through walls, being frozen will be, it's gonna be a bit of a problem. By dropping the Flash's molecular movement below absolute zero, Captain Cold could stop the Flash mid-stride. So now the Flash must use more than just his powers to defeat Captain Cold. He must use his mind. This is why Superman's strength can be rendered useless against a much weaker but brilliant, although evil, mind of Lex Luthor. Or how Wonder Woman's truth can be challenged by the lies fabricated by Ares in order to start a war. Or how Batman's ability to plan for just about anything is thrown out the window when pitted up against the absolute chaos that the Joker can bring. The Flash is the fastest man alive. Yet, he can only be in one place at a time. Unless you count all the times he's broken space-time continuum and dangerously traveled through the multiverse. I'm not gonna count those. Like I said, he can only be in one place at a time. So when I wrote and drew The Flash, I created a supervillain who could be. Mob Rule had the ability to multiply and literally be in more than one place at a time. By creating powers for your supervillains that can neutralize your superhero, you'll be able to create more challenging adversities for them to overcome. And when you expand their differences to their ideologies and beliefs, then you've created someone special and tailor fit to truly challenge your hero. This is just one of the many ways to create your own supervillain. If you want to know more, make sure to join me in the next live class on July 27th. Links down below. I'll see you all there.